Murphy in the front court. Everett Sullivan and now LeBradford Smith, who's out in the backcourt now with Kip Stone, getting his first start of his career for the freshman. And Louisville facing a zone right off the bat from South Alabama, 2-3. Cross court, this is Sullivan into Holden in the pivot for Troy Smith tonight. They got Derwin Webb, the open shot. And Webb cashes in and Louisville draws first blood. But here comes South Alabama quickly down court. A whistle and a foul. Tell you what, David, too, that's the type of team South Alabama is. They're a real transition team and they almost got an easy basket. No foul, the ball is out of bounds to South Alabama. So the Jaguars put it in play. Out of the Sun Belt Conference. Portillo has it stuffed by Cornelius Holden. He leads the team in blocks. Fast break for Bradford Smith. They're going to call it away and say no basket. Charging foul on LeBradford. Well, Denny Crumb's playing LeBradford Smith at the point guard now, and he seems a lot more comfortable. Here you see the rejection by Cornelius Holden. Very clean block. Now watch the break. L.A. picks it up. He's going to take it one-on-one, -on -one, had Sullivan on the other side. Ooh, I don't know, that's pretty close. I think you have to count that hoop, but they took it away. 24th block of the season by Holden, if you're counting those type of statistics. We're still 2 to nothing, Louisville. Driving into the lane, and it's a whistle called inside. There'll be a foul on Louisville. South Alabama is a very strong team, quick team as well, though. They have that unique combination. Let's look, check out this charge again. There you see Smith go up, actually put his converse tennis shoe right between his chest and his neck there. So the contact was made there, and from that angle, it looked like there was contact before he released the ball, so that probably was the right call by our officials, Harold Allen, Rick Randall, and John Constable. The foul most recently on Derwin Webb. This is Kevin McDaniels. He averages 13 and a half points a game and is an 81% free throw shooter. I got it, I got it, I got it. And that'll tie our game. And we'll see the press. Here's Holden. Loses a handle on it. McDaniels comes to the front court and pops for three. Holden will pull the rebound down for the Cardinals. And Holden's been doing a yeoman's job on the backboards, particularly the last couple of ball games. He's been in double digits in rebounding two of the last three games. This is the first of four straight home games for the Cardinals. Good to get off the road. And miss, and the rebound is controlled by South Alabama. Eccles, no good. Porteo goes for the rebound. Everett Sullivan comes out of there with it on the break. Kip Stone, all alone, puts it up and in. And Louisville goes up 4-2. to two. Very unselfish play by Everett Sullivan that time, and a smart play by Kip Stone with a little hesitation. Then he puts it off the glass. Cardinals hustling with the defense here early in this game, and they put that one out of bounds. First turnover of the game. You take a look at Ronnie Arrow, the head coach of South Alabama, 58 and 45 record in his fourth season of coaching the Jaguars. Here's Stone open up high off the glass and too high. And so South Alabama, a chance to tie the game again. Eccles, though, lost the handle on that one. Two turnovers now by South Alabama. They can see both of these teams wanting to get the ball out quickly and run with it. And South Alabama, we mentioned, Likes to run with it. They like the press. They'll use a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one. and trapping out of that press. You see it unfolding right here. So Kip Stone with his first start of his career. Here tonight with James Brewer suffering with the hip pointer. Well, Bradford Smith kicks it off to Stone. He'll take the jumper. In and out, and the Jaguars come out of there with it. Just over 17 minutes in the first half. Lob pass is broken up. So a little rough going here. A little turnover prone. Good movement. Nice passing to try to get that open shot. Stone dumps it off to Holden. Well, the shots that uh, Weber getting are inside. 
and that's because they're moving the ball very well. Chris pass against the zone, very short, keeping it on the move. Another part of the game that Crum has been working on to try to improve, and here's a foul called. Troy Smith is up at the court scorer's table to come in. I'm really surprised. I didn't think we would see Troy at all. He came out very early and went through some warm-ups and then went back in, and you can see that right leg heavily taped. And he has uh, a first-degree sprain of the medial collateral ligament in that right leg. So he's seen some playing time, and that's good. Well, with Troy Smith in, it is Cornelius Holden that goes over to the bench. Jam. Boy, they broke the press easily that time, and not only got an easy shot, Webb gets the jam job. And a 6.8-2 lead for the Cardinals over the Jaguars. Now Porteo defensed by Derwin Webb, and I think Webb got him along the arm. Well, that's one thing the Cardinals are going to have to be very careful about as Webb picks up his second foul, David, is the fact we touched on it earlier. South Alabama plays a lot of people, 11 or 12 people, here we see the results of breaking that press, and again, LeBradford Smith with the perfect pass off the web, who without a doubt always likes to take the ball to the basket, and he does it there with a lot of authority. Well, Derwin Webb now with two fouls will go over to the bench, and Cornelius Holden will come back in. Holden averaging 11.8 a game, and of course has started every game. There is Cesar Portillo to put it in for his first bucket of the night. That's the first field goal by South Alabama, a couple of free throws. And they are trailing Louisville at 8-4. to four. And this is a team that's averaging 88 points a game overall and 99 points a game in Sunbelt Conference action. That's for three, in and out by LeBradford Smith. The clock now is at 15.45, Louisville 8-4. to four. There's one thrown away as Cedric Yelding fired it high and up into the crowd. So the statistics, UofL hitting at 50%, four out of eight from the field. Coming off their best shooting night of the year, I think, down in New Orleans when they shot 65%. They had that string of games where they shot under 40% when they were mired in the losing streak. Eight to four. Drive, and the ball comes out of there, and Everett Sullivan fights for it. And now way up court, the Louisville all alone holding for the slam. I didn't know if they were going to get the ball up court to him. He was wide open. Well, they certainly did. They had a little problems doing that. I'm a little surprised, and I'm sure Ronnie Arrow is as well, that Louisville's beating his quick Jaguar team down the floor. Cardinals by six. Jaguars with the ball. Jaguars will play a lot of people, 11 or 12 players, and they'll all average at least 11 minutes. There is one up and good by Eccles. That's Marvin Eccles out of Baton Rouge, a senior hitting... The field goal to close the Jaguars within four at 10 to six. And he's one of eight junior college players on the roster. Of course, Ronnie Arrow had great success in junior college as a head coach. Hipstone misses the mark. Now they flip it out, and here is a three-pointer in and out by Everett Sullivan. Everett goes over there and tries to make the steal, kicks it out of bounds off the Jaguars, and the Cardinals retain possession. Five turnovers by South Alabama. Three by Louisville, as you see on your screen. Staying in that zone, I'm a little surprised. Troy Smith's lost a nice soft shot up, and Troy hits the scoring column for the first time, averaging 10 and a half a game. 12 to six, Louisville on top. Portillo walks with it. Took steps, and that'll be the sixth turnover, and for the Jaguars, these turnovers and sloppy play, if you will, are, are going to hurt them. Yeah, no question about it. And on the other hand, if we're talking about sixes, Denny Crumb's team has its six assists in the ball game already. And that shows you the type of movement and good shots that we're getting for this team against this zone defense. And you see Boo Brewer coming in. And I guess it's good that Denny Crumb's getting a chance to get both of these guys at least some action tonight. I didn't think we'd see Troy Smith at all. Seeing different combinations of players, different starting lineup. And that's a foul against South Alabama. The foul is on Adams, number 42. 
Watch so, it again. Go ahead. Watching it again, David, on the replay going through there. Louisville's getting a lot of success, having success getting the ball inside. And normally in a zone defense, that's one of the reasons you play a zone is to prevent your opponent from getting the ball inside. And I think uh, Louisville's done an outstanding job of moving it around and getting a lot of shots inside. Hence, of course, the personal foul here. And Troy Smith stands at the line. 13-39 in the half. That makes it 13-6. to six. Louisville by seven. Of course, Troy's had a lot of things on his mind as well. His stepfather is over in the Middle East. Indeed. 13-6 to six as Troy missed the second end of his two shots. And now South Alabama will try to close it down. The Louisville lead. Wide open for the jump shot, and it is good. Oh, is Kevin man. McDaniels' his first field goal. Little's lead now trimmed to five at 13 to eight. Everick Sullivan throws up a three. Troy Smith has the rebound. Everick Sullivan. Try to get it over to Brewer. Bounce pass went out of bounds. Yeah, and he had Holden open inside, but instead of getting it to Cornman, he bounced it out of bounds, and that's the fourth turnover for Louisville in the game. But he had Holden open once again inside. Louisville having a lot of success getting the guys posted up and get them the basketball. Now that's obviously going to be a foul against Holden as he hammers number 14, Kevin McDaniels. McDaniels has already hit two free throws tonight. Great head fake here by McDaniels, and Cornelius knew that he was going to commit the foul, so he wanted to make sure at least that McDaniels had no chance of getting that one up and in. McDaniels had a 26-point game against Old Dominion the other night. That's his career high. That was two weeks ago as they got into their Sun Belt Conference play. Here's a guy that was the most valuable player for the team last year, Ronnie Arrow, as he did last year, had really been searching for the right combination in the starting lineup, David. I think he has the group together now that he likes them. And Daniel's third in the, in the Sun Belt Conference in free throw shooting. Misses uh, the first one of the night. Four out of five at the line for McDaniels. 13 to nine is our score at 12.48 and a half. Nichols diving out of bounds trying to save that one. I tell you what, he was on a front row seat over there. He's going to have to make a donation to the Cardinal Athletic Fund if he wants to sit there now. Level on the attack. They held the lead throughout the early going. LeBradford Smith is good with that shot. Two-pointer by LeBradford. That is his first field goal of the night. 15 to 9, Louisville by six over the Jaguars of South Alabama. Troy Smith puts the block up. Outside, Eccles is good. Four points by Eccles, 15 to 11, Louisville by four. South Alabama beginning to settle down a little bit offensively now, and Eccles is a good shooter, as you mentioned. Bradford Smith puts it outside to Brewer. Bounce pass over to Holden that he almost couldn't get to. Move inside 12 minutes now in the first half. Nice pass from LeBradford Smith over to Holden. The shot is going to be good by Holden, and he's fouled. That's six points by Cornelius Holden. Louisville does a good job here, David. Again, moving the ball. Watch LeBradford Smith. He has been playing so well the last couple of ball games. Whips it over to Holden. Cornman, a little fake there. They give him the basket here. That looked like the NBA continuation to me. <laughs> looked like the contact was made before he got the shot off, but of course, uh, it makes the folks here at Freedom Hall happen. Holden goes to the line while South Alabama coach Ronnie Arrow makes several substitutions into his lineup. Holden a a good free throw has been hitting 63% on the season, 18 to 11. The Cardinals lead it by seven. We'll run down the substitutions for South Alabama when we come back after this. Now before down, they've got this stretch with not a lot of games leading into those two tough ones. South Alabama facing the Louisville pressure three-quarter court for the first time. Louisville leads it by seven at 18 to 11. Number four is Derek Alvin handling the ball, and now Eccles with it. Denny Crum wanted to travel right in front of him. He's working on one of the officials. Ruby James, number five, into the game for South Alabama. So Ronnie Arrow continues to shuffle his lineup. Jump shot by Eccles. A lot of hands up there around it. 
Curtis gets credit for it, number 43. Louisville's lead now 5, 18-13. This time a half-court trap by the Jaguars. James Brewer bounces it into the paint to Derwin Webb. Holden comes out of there with it, and Brewer wide open for a three. That's the first shot put up tonight by Brewer, who comes off of the bench for the first time this season, 21 to 13 Louisville. And Louisville has nine field goals and nine assists leading to those field goals, so that's a good sign of team play. Excellent sign of team play, 10-41 in the first half, and the Cardinals have been on top and dominated so far. Pass inside, pushing foul on Adams, number 42. That's two on Thomas Adams out of Meridian, Mississippi. He was jockeying for his position inside, and as a result, picked up that foul. And again, Holden helping out of the backcourt against this half-court trap. Little on the attack. Good pass into Smith, who couldn't get the layup to fall. Looked like a gimme there, 21 to 13. And I think Troy's a little bit ginger with that leg. He's not going to spring right up there. I think he's thinking about that, obviously. Here's one thrown up outside and good by Booby James. Averaging just over seven points a game. Here's a guy that started 19 games for Vegas, UNLV, when he was a freshman before he transferred. Derwin Webb can't find the handle, and the Jaguars come out of there with it. Five turnovers now by Louisville. Jump shot is good, and Curtis has his second bucket. And it's a four-point Louisville lead. South Alabama making a run at 9.33. And you can really see South Alabama beginning to find its rhythm with the offense now. They're moving the ball around well. Brewer with a bounce pass to Holden that he couldn't get a handle on. Out of bounds, Louisville's ball, and substitutions into the game for Louisville will be Everett Sullivan, Jermaine Wingfield, and Kip Stone as LeBradford Smith, Derwin Webb, Troy Smith go to the bench. You know, you got to admire Troy Smith. He's playing with an injury. Of course, as we mentioned, his stepfather, Staff Sergeant David Willis, is over in the Persian Gulf. He's got to have a lot on his mind, David. And Tell you, I'm sure he wanted to play. He wanted to get out here and, and participate in this game, and I have to admire the sophomore. He's doing a great job. Here's Everett Sullivan with the inbounds, and Louisville has a four-point lead. Just over nine minutes in the half. Wingfield over to Kip Stone. Back to Holden, who dribbles it in, and there is a foul. Basket is good. That's eight, nine points for Canadius Holden. Ronnie Errol wanted him to wave this basket off, but you see Kipstone, good job of whipping it out. Here's Cornelius. Well, that was one of those marginal call once again, but they give him the hoop plus the foul. Two fouls on Holden, two on Derwin Webb. 23 to 17, Louisville's up by six at 8.57 in the half. Wingfield cuts him off on the baseline. Curtis throws one up off the iron. Holden, they're going to call a foul on that play against uh, number five, Booby James. Booby's a guy that started a lot last year and actually was ruled ineligible for four games, David, by the NCAA because of I mean, infraction he was involved in when he was a freshman. So he lost his starting job because of the ineligibility, and he's not been able to get it back. And uh, has been rather boisterous about it or vocal, but he's still making a great contribution off the bench. And I think Ronnie Arrow is very happy with his play as a substitute. Kip Stone into front court with it to the right side now. This is a shot that is up and good by Everett Sullivan. Those are the first two points of the game by Sullivan. He's had a couple of high-scoring games this season. Averages just over 15 a game. Yeah, he's had four games, I think, over 20 points this year. That would indicate what you were talking about. The defense by Louisville. And again, those nice passes to get the shot. Everett Sullivan misses. Jermaine Wingfield with some leaping and battling on the boards. Holden just couldn't get it to come down. You know, one of the things that's really improved this Louisville team as you hear the Freedom Hall crowd applaud the effort is the fact that they're really working hard on the board. You see Sullivan miss here, but look, Wingfield just keeps it alive enough 
So the Cardinals could pick it up. Sullivan, nice little scoop pass over to the corn man, and Holden gets hammered as he tries to put it up. And this Louisville team now in the last two ball games, Dave, has out-rebounded two good rebound goals. So a couple of rebounds in the game tonight. He's played well. Got the second one, 10 points for Holden. 26 to 17, Louisville leads South Alabama. 8.04 left in the half. We haven't talked about the Louisville defense. We mentioned a couple of traps and some three-quarter court pressure, but of course now they're in that standard switching man-to-man. Ruby -man. James back on the baseline. They say stepped on it. That'll turn it over to the Cardinals. Nine turnovers on the Jaguars. Isn't it amazing with that white paint on the baseline, what a good defender it is? <laughs> Helped out Kip Stone right there. The best defense back to basketball at 7.41 of the first half. Louisville leads, and the turnover lead goes to the Jaguars. And that's what you don't want to lead, and you see the Cardinals, that good teamwork we talked about leading an assist. Mike Case is into the game for Louisville, and Tremaine Wingfield throws it away, and the slam right there for Darrell Washington. 26-19, Louisville's lead trimmed to seven. We talked about South Alabama's depth, David. We're going to see that. They have 11 players that have scored in double figures in at least one game this year. And it seems the Jaguars have stepped up the defensive tempo of this game. You can do that with depth. Mike Case hits the side of the backboard. Cedric Yelding with it. And pushing and shoving going on inside and the whistle. See who they call this one on. Mike Case. That's his first. So Case out of Pendleton Heights, Indiana, first foul of the game. So you can pick it up. You see Mike Case, I mean, he's wanting to waltz with him there. He had his right arm all the way around his waist like he was ready to dance with him and picks up the personal foul. You can't do that. That's one of the rules they're emphasizing, too, with the officials is not allow hand checking. That wasn't hand checking. He was getting a little hug around the tummy there. So South Alabama will put it back into play. They're down by seven, 26 to 19. Six minutes, 38 seconds in the first half. Bradford Smith back in the game. Jump shot inside the three-point line is good by Washington. He's come in and hit two quick field goals, and now South Alabama's within five. South Alabama runs that motion offense, but they're very interchangeable with their personnel. They got good shooters, and people that can score inside out. Good pass to lead Everett Sullivan for his second field goal. Up by seven now, Louisville, 28 to 21. That's five assists for LeBradford Smith in this game. He's trying to check that out, and I blew our monitor out. We got it back. Troy Smith with a block. They get some applause from the fans here who know the effort that Troy is making to play in this game tonight. Shot was missed, but followed up by South Alabama. And that's Darrell Washington slipping in for another one. He's got six points. He started in the first seven games this year, so he's not your normal reserve. He's been a starter a lot of this season. Coming over the back is Curtis, number 43 of Troy Smith. That would be the second foul on Curtis. Adams has two for South Alabama, and that will be their seventh team foul. Look at Ronnie Arrow. Of course, do they have the perfect logo that you're seeing? USA, of course, that stands for the University of South Alabama, but I think a lot of hearts and minds uh, look at that USA with a lot of pride tonight. So I guess it's only appropriate that that would be the logo for the Cardinals competition tonight. Darwin Webb back into the game for Louisville. Mike Case goes out. Is out Troy Smith tonight with three beat rebounds and three points. Tough luck on that free throw as it bounced out and South Alabama will get the ball. 5.30 left in the half. And Louisville holds a five-point lead, 28-23. This time, Kip Stone picking up a little bit quicker defensively out near the timeline. Stone going for the steal. The 
Did he walk or not? Official didn't blow any whistles, but Washington missed the shot anyway. Over to Kip Stone on the fast break. Four points by Stone, seven-point lead for Louisville, 30-23 at five minutes to go. And the 13th assist, that one by Everett Sullivan. Portillo, air ball, right into the hands of Everett Sullivan. Too much on that one by Troy Smith. The collision underneath. Derwin Webb's laying on the floor. No call. Washington, no good. And Derwin Webb pulled it down for the rebound. Louisville doing a good job of keeping the big men out of the inside game for South Alabama. Bradford Smith unselfishly trying to pick up that assist and get the ball into Everett and it misfired. Of Alabama cannot find the range and has not been able to close up the lead of Louisville. It's up by seven. Teams are running, too. Troy Smith with his second field goal. Five points for Troy Smith. 32-23 Louisville. You know, and Everett Sullivan has three assists now, so Cardinals getting some help from both the guard and forwards with the assist play, and the crowd trying to pick up as we get under that four-minute mark. There's a blocking foul against Darrell Washington of South Alabama. That'll be his first. And that should be the team's eighth. The foul is on Washington, number 20, his first. So we're inside the four-minute mark of the first half, and Louisville leads 32 to 23, and Troy Smith has been Mr. Effort out there. He certainly has. Here you see Everett Sullivan once again with a nice pass to Troy Smith using that right hand this time off the glass nice move inside by Troy Smith and of course you see that shot there at Kip Stone the American flag the tribute by the Cardinal basketball team to our troops in the Middle East he's an 81 percent foul shooter and cashes in there for his fifth point he's had a couple of assists here you know, and I think Kip Stone is really beginning to feel the offense now, and I think he's going to be a lot more effective as a second guard, too. He can still help out at the point for the Bradford Smith, but I think you're going to see Stone and Brewer doing well at that number two guard spot. Timeout on the court after those two free throws by Kip Stone. Louisville extends its lead to 11 with 346 left. Beating the University of Kentucky and we had to drop out of that broadcast because of events in the Middle East. And Sunday tomorrow from 11 a.m. to noon, we'll replay the tape of that second half of the Lady Cards and the Kentucky. Right here, it's South Alabama fighting for a basket underneath and laying it up and in finally. Number 14, Kevin McDaniels with his second field goal. Louisville by nine. Shade over three minutes left in the first half. Handling the press well. But Bradford Smith wide open. Can't get the range on the long ones tonight so far. But Bradford doing the job, though, with the assist. He has two points on one field goal. There is another rebound by Troy Smith. Doing a good job. Really is playing very hard. Has that right leg heavily taped. Louisville leads 34 to 25. 11 points has been their largest lead. Derwin Webb with a good head fake and scores. Six points for Derwin Webb. You know, he is very, very effective when he gets the ball inside. He has a quick first move. We've seen that on a lot of occasions. There's one from outside. Oh, drilled the bottom. Adams. Thomas Adams, first field goal. 36 to 27. There's another guy coming off the bench that started the first seven games. Everett Sullivan banks this oh, one in. That's six points for Everett Sullivan. Louisville matches its biggest lead at 38 to 27. Two minutes and inside two now. South Alabama's trailed all the way in this game. There's Troy Smith. And he gets the foul as he gets up on to the back of Thomas Adams. That's the first one on Troy Smith. Make it three. 
averages just a shade over eight a game and some five and a half rebounds and this is a team that played the Arkansas Razorbacks very very tough at Ar Arkansas and that's not an easy place to play at all and up short there now Tremaine Wingfield backed off and Hines Samuel Hines gets his first point 38 30 Louisville by eight at a minute 33 and a half it was Derwin Webb with a jump shot that is no good down on the baseline out of bounds over to Louisville 11 turnover the baseline's a great defender because it never moves see there's one Cardinal, two Cardinals, Boo Brewer. Now here comes Kip Stone, Tremaine Wingfield. Yes, sir, that sneaker is definitely on the paint. Darren Webb was unsuccessful at trying to save that, and it makes the eighth turnover by the Cardinals. 38-30, Louisville is leading it. Their biggest lead has been 11. They've had that on two or three occasions. Need a strong finish here in the last minute of the half. They have gone to sleep in a few games this season in the last couple of minutes of the half, and and let some teams catch up and overtake them. South Alabama rifles a pass inside with Wingfield and finally Derwin Webb with a rebound. Now 45 seconds to go in the half and Louisville's got the ball and leads by eight. One shot, Denny Crum has up the one finger. He wants to take one, run it down. Brewer works with it outside. Darts in and back. Wingfield's open for a shot with 25 seconds to go. Everett Sullivan takes a one-handed shot. Good. Fourth field goal, eight point for Everett Sullivan. Ten point Louisville lead. That was one of those, no, 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 eat. Yeah, great <laughs> shot. <laughs> well, he was so open, and Wingfield had been so open before that. I call a foul on Everett Sullivan, I believe. That'll be his first. Cardinals really not in any foul trouble to speak of. A couple of players with two, Webb and Holden. Yeah, but Danny Crumbs, this one, they might get a steal. Takes his time. <laughs> Every Sullivan shouldn't feel so bad right now. Foul goes against number 31 of South Alabama. Hines, that's one on him. That was worse than Sullivan. Two fouls now on Hines. There are a limited number of tickets on sale for the last eight. Oh, you got to see those guys line up for those tickets. I'm too. sure. <laughs> 41 to 31 is Tremaine Wingfield has another free throw opportunity. Jason McClendon, by the way, is in the game, number 33. He's only appeared in about four games this season. A Wingfield hits both, and Louisville matches its biggest lead. Like Kroger, your store for low prices on the everyday, every day. And by your Cardinal car dealers, Bob Smith Chevrolet Geo, the one. Your Metro Louisville Ford dealers, where quality is standard. And by your Kentuckiana Toyota dealers. we got 20 minutes more of basketball to go here at Freedom Hall between South Alabama and Louisville. Denny Crum and the Cards, an 11-point lead. Coach Crumb's telling his team to keep up that defensive intensity. I think that's one of the reasons that South Alabama struggled early. Coach Crumb had to feel good to get back in town and get some practice days in, despite the fact he didn't have everybody out there. And you know, one thing we haven't really talked about is there's a group of walk-ons, by the way, you featured on the Denny Crumb show today, that have been a real instrumental part of this program. Because if you don't have those guys to work hard in practice, you can't get anything. To... There's a collision down towards the baseline and going to be a charge. Well, that's exactly, I think, an indication of what Coach Crum had talked about. That's the indication of the good hustle play defense. Well, watch it here. You see the penetration. Now watch Derwin Webb slide over, get the good position, draw the charge. Coaches love to see that. Oh, no scoring yet in the second half. Derwin Webb to Kip Stone. No good, but Holden is there for the rebound. Soft pass by Everett Sullivan just sails out of bounds. 
Now, there was a case where Everick was open from about 10 feet away, and he has that great jumping ability where there's no question he would have been able to get that shot off. Instead, it's the eighth Louisville turnover. So, South Alabama, an opportunity to cut into the lead. You see the turnover ratio and in the game so far. He just played inside of a minute of the second half. But Dio loses the handle on it. That's going to go over to Louisville. 13 turnovers now by the Jaguars. That figure and that statistic is dogging them. Yeah, Ronnie Arrow, he looks like he's looking down at the Freedom Hall hardwood trying to find the answer. Well, Bradford Smith has only scored two points in the game, but dished out numerous assists. Holden over to Derwin Webb and a whistle and a foul against South Alabama can't say enough about how well this Louisville team is passing tonight and I have to admit I was one of the critics the other night in talking about this not being one of the better passing teams in Louisville history and I think one of the differences is now the Bradford Smith is in the point of that offense he actually gets it going much better David where you're going to see all those options and the opportunities for a Derwin Webb to get the ball inside that was a good feed that time by Cornelius Holden you see Webb with six points in his first starting role of the season First time he's been at the line in this game. 64% shooter at, at the line. At 29 minutes. I didn't realize he played that long at the Tulane game, did you? No, I didn't. 29 minutes. They played well, but he comes up empty at the free throw line. We played uh, about a minute and a half here, and no score by either team. 42 to 31. This is Eccles against LeBradford Smith. Got it inside, and the shot is good. So Curtis now with six points. And it's a nine-point Louisville lead. Kipstone over to Derwin Webb. Hold it against Portillo. Everett Sullivan has some... Tight defense put on him by Eccles. Here's Kip Stone. Nice driving layup by Stone. Eight points for Kip Stone. He's so much more effective offensively when he takes the ball to the hoop. Jump shot is good. Eccles now with six points. 44-35 as they match field goals back and forth. South Alabama scrapped that zone some time ago. They're playing basic, tough man-to-man. -man. Kip Stone working in the paint. Now back out to Holden. Everett Sullivan puts it up. He was fouled. That's where Louisville's really tough to deal with when they get into the flow of the offense and can get an Everett Sullivan. So you see Cornelius Holden. He has it way above the time or the three-point line, but he gets it down to Sullivan, who can really post up well at 6'5". Doesn't get it down, but he draws the foul. That's a good part of the offense right there. Eight points in the first half for Sullivan. 69% at the line. Nine points for Everett Sullivan. Holden is still the leading scorer for the Cardinals with 10. 10 point lead. Cesar Patello. South Alabama trying to crack that Cardinal defense. Good patience. They backed it out. Handled the half court trap well. Now they're in the flow of the offense. Shot clock moves down to 12 seconds. Shot is up and good, so they worked the clock down and got the bucket by Curtis, who's picked up four points in the second half. Eight for the game. Alley oop. Cornelius Holden. Oh, Derwin Webb recognized it, and now he adds an assist by his name in the lineup. And the cards up by 10. Substitution for the Jaguars of South Alabama, number 31. Samuel Hines out of Wilson, North Carolina. A 6'6 junior. Thomas Adams, 42. So Tommy Arrow, as he did, Ronnie Arrow, as he did in the first half, beginning those substitutions about four minutes into the half. Well, he has a lot of depth. He has talent. And, of course, that's an advantage of a team with that kind of depth and talent. 
might as well utilize those players and we mentioned a lot of the names that you've been calling are players that have started quite a bit this year if not this year started last year well he's got some fresh people in there and there was a wide open shot good by Hines he's got four 47 39 Lloyd Derwin Webb had one blocked on it. Everett Sullivan knocks that apart. But Booby is outside and he hits it. Booby James. Four points for James. Six point lead for Louisville. An 11 point lead has been cut to six. There's the half court trap. The passing by Louisville but this time Stone threw it away. And that's the ninth turnover. They tried to force it in that time. There were three Jaguars right there. Shot from outside is good by Eccles. Say that's a two-pointer, and it's a four-point level lead at 47 to 43. Yeah, Ronnie Arrow wanted a three, and this is a South Alabama team. They score a lot of points when they get in that rhythm. You better look out. They can put them on the board quick. Out of bounds. Ten turnovers. You see it right here. Good recognition by Derwin Webb. Very high percentage shot. Cornelius Holden is five out of six. That was one of 17 assists. That one by Derwin Webb. Louisville's the team, and uh, Holden's the only Louisville player in double figures, and that graphic backs up what South Alabama's been able to do to climb right back in this ball game, David. Trailing by four, and lots of time to go in the game. 15 minutes and plus. They go inside. Now, LeBradford Smith fights and comes away with it. Cardinals run. Brewer kicks it back out to hold. LeBradford Smith screaming, get me the ball. He's wide open over here on the left wing. They didn't see. Eric Sullivan inside. Troy Smith. That's the kind of play that you know Denny Clum likes to see. Seven yeah. points by Troy Smith. Tempo starting to pick up here by South Alabama. 49-45. Booby James. Four he, points in the half. And he can light it up in a hurry. Everett Sullivan for three. 12 points for Everett Sullivan. His first three-pointer. Seven-point Cardinal lead. 52 to 45. From South Alabama back. Shot was missed, and it is Sullivan that pulls down the rebound. Troy Smith misses this one. Jaguars down by seven with the ball. Oh, it's got to be a foul. That has got to be a foul on number five, Booby James. And it should be number two. <laughs> Booby James came in there that time. Let's watch it. Booby comes in hard. You see the three-point effort not there, but Booby... Mount up, big guys, right on the top of Cornelius Holden and made that contact and a very obvious foul by Booby James, who's really put a lot of spark. Different angle, same result. Shot not there and right over the back. Jason McClendon has just come into the game for Louisville. Number 33. Booby James knocks that one away. I tell you what. I mean, that sounded like a volleyball. That's a kill. That's kill. exactly what that is. <laughs> Don Harden would be proud. I don't know that, that volleyball terminology now. Uh -huh. You realize that. I know all that volleyball. You do. Of course, the Louisville women's volleyball team capturing the Metro Conference title this year. Everett Sullivan back around that three-point line, and it's a three. He's got two of them now, six points, 15 in the game. And it's his second three-point goal. Eccles is jammed. By Everett Sullivan. Foul, though, on Everett. Second. Third, excuse me. You notice how both of these teams, when something exciting happens, they really get going. Here you see the penetration. Sullivan comes over. Looked like he got a lot of the basketball. That was Everett on defense. Now on the offensive side, boy, that's just perfect position. Follow through, and Everett Sullivan drills the three-pointer. It's at the line. First time up there in the game. 
That is the second foul on Everett Sullivan. Two free throws by Eccles, 55-47. Louisville's lead is eight points. More substitutes into the game. It's hard to keep up with his uh, substitutions here at South Alabama. Tell you what, they're running the men and out of here. Jason McClendon, who's seen very small amount of time this season, is in. And he has it uh, taken away, but Brewer recovers it. Everett Sullivan is open. So Maine Winfield. Nice recovery by Wingfield. Four points for Wingfield. See, that's what Wingfield can do, David, when he uses that athletic ability. He's a very quick jumper. He got up there, grabbed the ball, stuck it in. Outside shot, bottom, up for Thomas Adams. Six point. Eight point lead for Louisville. Now South Alabama on the defensive end. Layup is good by, by McDaniel, number 14. That's his ninth point of the foul, apparently, on LeBradford Smith. You see the results, a strip and a steal. Good pass. McDaniel puts it in, Boo could have let him go, went for the block, got a piece of the arm there. You see the steal's actually by Hines, and Brewer goes for the block. Anytime you take a chance on the block, you might make contact, whether you do or not. He's had three of those at the line. So averaging 13 and a half a game, he's now got 10. 57 to 52, Louisville by five. Jason McClendon, they leave him all alone. Rolls off. Tremaine Wingfield fouls. First on Wingfield. Four. This is a hard game to get a handle on the flow. It, it keeps ebbing and flowing, I guess you could say. Little had an 11-point lead. Now it's down to three. 12.04 to go. LeBradford Smith breaks free. Oldest play in college basketball. The give and go. Will be James rifles one inside to McDaniels. Pip Stone. He's triple teamed in the backcourt. Wingfield, a lame duck pass. Booby. Got it. Eight points for Booby James. 59-56. Levels lead is only three. And James fouls. Three. Three on Booby James. Five team fouls now on the Jaguars. South Alabama's picked it up on D. The tempo has been picked up indeed by the Jaguars on defense. They now trail by three. Timeout on the court. 11-24 to uh, play here by LeBradford Smith. And that's that high post give and go. Tremaine Wingfield got it from Smith. Smith takes it back, takes it to the hoop. Well, the defensive pressure continues to be turned up by South Alabama. They're going to call steps on holding. You know, you got to have possession of the ball to travel with it, and I think there was a case where probably a no call would have been more appropriate. I'm not sure Holden. Let's watch it again. He has it knocked away. Scramble for it. Holden, does he have possession? Now, see, he dropped the ball. When he dropped the ball, it can't be a travel, but they called it that way. South Alabama down by just three. Booby James a kicking there, and it'll be the Jaguars' ball. Well, the pressing and the trapping defense by the Jaguars certainly bothering Louisville. Boy. Uh, 10 out of 13 shooting. It's hard to stop. Yeah, especially what's happening is they're getting the turnovers now out of the defense, but more importantly, they're cashing in on those opportunities. Fans of Freedom Hall wanted a call there. But Bradford Smith pulls down an important rebound. Here's Everick Sullivan. Jump shot off the glass. Everick Sullivan is having himself a good game. Fast break. Looks like that basketball was fired out of a cannon. <laughs> he lost the handle to say the least. I thought we were at the circus for a moment with that baby going straight up in the air. He could not find it to save his life. Here you go. I've got it. Where'd it go? Oh, wait a minute. Is that on the front side or the back side? And then in frustration. You see Hines with the foul. 
That is the sixth team foul on the Jaguars of South Alabama. Derwin Webb lost one. The alley-oop attempt. Block. Cleanly. Cardinals crashing the boards. They're going to give it over to South Alabama. <laughs> Ronnie Arrow wanted a gold inning at the other end. That he pinned it against the glass. Well, if it's on the way up, you can do that. Troy Smith checks back in for Louisville. Derwin Webb goes out. Webb leaves the game with six points all in the first half. South Alabama trails by five. Boy, oh boy, no call there. Booby Jones, no good. Rebound is kicked out of bounds. LeBradford Smith saves it to Kipstone. What a move by LeBradford Smith. Great hustle. Holden. And he's fouled. You know, a lot of times if you're a young player, if you play any time of sports, you can't substitute anything for effort. And just a moment ago, you saw LeBradford Smith come up with some great play. Now watch this. Watch the loose ball and watch LeBradford Smith. I mean, dash after this. Most players would have given it up. And right there at the last second, just flips it back with his right hand and just kept it alive. That extra effort there, that's the reason they came up with a loose ball. Holden, 13 points. It's above his average of just under 12 a game. South Alabama controls the miss. Cards by six, 62-56, 9.45 left. Everett Sullivan picks off the pass. Stone, Sullivan. Showtime for Everett Sullivan, 64 to 56, Little pulls away. And one of the officials almost messed up that fast break from the get-go, and that's what the fans were going at, but the Cardinals still got the easy hoop. Finally, they call steps. The crowd gets into it now, 9.18 to go. Louisville by eight, 64 to 56. There you see, scramble for the loose ball. Troy Smith on the seat of his pants. Flips it out with the left hand. Kipstone again. The key, the recognition, finding Sullivan for the jam job. Back to play with Kipstone moving into front court. 9-11 on the clock. Eight-point Cardinal lead. 64-56. Troy Smith scores again. Despite the bad knee, Troy Smith has nine points and has played well. And Everett Sullivan has five assists in the game, David. He's playing very well on offensively scoring and passing. McDaniels. He's got 11, 12 points now. 66, 58, Louisville. Cards by eight. You know, plays like that a minute ago by LeBradford Smith is saving the ball out of bounds. Those don't show up in the box score of a game. Nope, not at all. And the fact that he's only got four points in the game. That's right. But he makes those plays when you need them. 8-19 left, 66-58 Louisville. In the paint, there's a foul on Holden. Point in handling the ball, David Howe. He's getting everybody else into the flow of the scoring, and that's, that's going to pay off for LeBradford in the long run, too. His points will come. It's a marked difference in the way they're playing. 43 is putting it up, Curtis. It's no good. Everett Sullivan comes out of there with it. Knocked out of bounds. Boy, I tell you, the Jaguars have some quickness. And now they say it was thrown out. I thought somebody got a piece of it, but evidently not. You've got to be careful handling the ball around this South Alabama team. Yeah, they'll take it away in the New York minute. We've seen that a couple of times already. Now the Cards have a seven-point advantage, 66-59. Just a shade over eight minutes to go. Finally, they are able to put one in after a couple of misses. That is Darrell Washington now with eight points. Louisville's lead is five, 66-61. Uh, That's 10 second chance points for South Alabama to only three for Louisville. 
But Bradford Smith open for a two-pointer. Well, that's eight points now, or six points, rather, for LeBradford Smith, four in the second half. He was there, he took it, and he canned it. Seven-point lead. Well, it's getting rough under those boards. Curtis, or rather, 42 Adams here for the basket. Five points for the Cardinals. 68-63. Little's biggest lead in this game was 11. That was the halftime score, 42 to 31. Bradford Smith dishes it off to Troy Smith. He's fouled this season, 17. He's hit three out of four from the line tonight. Timeout on the court. 6.55 left. The leading score in the game with 19 points. Yeah, he's done it all. You see him look square up to the basket very nicely. The follow-through, he nails that one. He's hit 8 out of 12 from the floor. 1 out of 2 at the line. He has 7 rebounds, 5 assists. There you look at Everett Sullivan, the junior out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. That's quite a complete game. And two three-pointers included there. 6.55 left on the clock at Freedom Hall. Louisville 70, South Alabama 63. The Cardinals trying to even the record at 500. Came in here six and seven. South Alabama with a nine and five record entering the game. Yeah, and they've won four of their last five. They've been hot. And in their conference play in the Sun Belt is when they started to get hot. There is a wide open alley-oop pass inside to Darrell Washington. Ten points for Washington. 70-65. The Jaguars will not fold here. A foul back in the backcourt against LeBradford Smith. His second. Well, L.A. left his feet to try to get that pass into the front court to his teammate. And the contact was there, and they got him on the offensive foul. But Denny Crum won't complain about that. He was moving and charging forward to try to get the ball up the court. But it gives the Jaguars the ball, and they trail by five. Holden against Washington. That's a two-point jump shot by Hines. Six points for Hines. South Alabama doing a real good job of moving the ball around. 70-67, Louisville by three. Five minutes, 40 seconds to go. Fans wanted a foul there against Eccles. Holden lays it in, and he's fouled. That's a big basket by Holden. Cornelius with 15 points, and the foul goes. A number 20, Darrell Washington, his second. Well, this time, Troy Smith gets into the act with a good pass. Cornelius makes the catch and just tips it over the lip of that rim. There you see Smith kept the ball above his head. Holden, the double team, takes the foul and gets it over the orange paint right on that hoop. Puts him at the line. That's the five twenty five to go Louisville seventy three sixty seven a lot of motion in that offense are looking to try to post up down low. Takes Troy Smith. Whistle. It's going to go against Troy. That'll be two on Troy Smith. <laughs> Troy said, oh, man. I game this year for him has been 13. You know, South Alabama, we mentioned earlier, is a candidate for possible admission to the Metro Conference. Of course, they're located in Mobile, Alabama. Could be a good addition if they elect to come in and the Metro wants them. Brewer straddling the line, gets it in there to Sullivan. 73-68, cards by five, 4.52 to go. Nichols led this game all the way, but never by more than 11. Brewer along the baseline, back Holden. Puts it in. Cornelius Holden gives Louisville a 75-68 lead. Another great pass by LeBradford Smith. Three-point shot. No good. 
They call him for walking, and Brewer kind of held back like it could have been a foul. <laughs> Who might have helped him walk there just a little bit? Looked like there might have been a little bit of contact coming in. 18 turnovers over on South Alabama. Uh, Denny Crum has to be proud of this effort. You mentioned, David, they've led all the way, maintained the lead. They get a 10, 11 point lead. South Alabama came storming back, and Louisville's been able to, so far, defend them off when uh, the Jaguars make the rally. Well, Bradford Smith, who's had six points tonight, but another assist if they allow it. No, they're going to call the blocking foul on number 42. And that's Adams, his third. You can tell by the look on Adams' face, he's not exactly in total agreement with that particular call. But Bradford Smith, there you see, look, a little juke here, a little drive to the hoop. He actually got over there, looked like he might have been in position, but I think it might have been a case of Adams leaning forward. Look at it, so you've got to be <laughs> kidding me. No way. <laughs> you can see forever from that shot. 4.05 to go in this game, and Louisville is leading it. Eight assists tonight for LeBradford Smith. And seven points now. It's just the team is so much different. Denny Crum even admitted it. He's my senior. He's the guy that can make it happen. The ball needs to be in his hands, and that's, of course, where it's been the last couple of ball games. He still could hit double figures. Eight points for LeBradford Smith. 77-68. Louisville's up by nine. 359 is left. And the McDaniels does not fall, and Eccles missed it, and he's fouled. <laughs> four for four tonight. So Eccles at the strike gets a couple of more on the board, and they are staying fairly close to go. Ball is picked off by Eccles. Here's a three-pointer, and it's good by number ten, yielding, and he uh, yielding. He hasn't scored with two points in the game before that. 77-73, Troy Smith with a jam. That's the way you beat the press. Good passing, and then you take advantage of the numbers. You see the clock, six-point Cardinal lead. McDaniel steps back beyond that three-point line. Clock moves at 3.09. Driving and a foul on Louisville. It looks like it'll go on Webb. That'll be three. Think to that. Cedric Gelding averages just over six points a game, so he's right at his average. And it's a 79-75 game with 3.06 on the clock. Louisville up by four. Roy Smith, Everett Sullivan, three-pointer. Rims out, Webb battles, Holden comes down with a rebound. Left-handed shot was no good. Two minutes and 49 seconds to go. McDaniel scampers right by everybody. Kevin McDaniels out of Baltimore, puts it in. 79-77, 2.37 to go. The Cardinals cling to a two-point lead, Don. A little patience here. The flow, pace of the game, I think, favors South Alabama. There's a turnover and a steal. Hines hits the layup, and this game is tied at 79. Hines with nine points has tied it. 79-79. 2.10 to go. Danny Crum wants a timeout, but nobody sees him. Running. Shot is no good, but he's out of bounds. It's Louisville's ball, so a break for the Cardinals under their basket. Denny Crum wanted a timeout. He was trying to get Troy Smith to take it a moment ago, and nobody would get it out to the official, and now they're going to have the timeout by Coach Crum. He you see Kevin it. McDaniels take it coast to coast, got the rebound, takes it all the way up, put it in. And now you're going to see the basket that will eventually tie the game. Once again, the steal. Samuel Hines takes it down against Smith, lays it in, and that's what knotted the game at 79. 2.04 to go. And Louisville's got it. They've led by 11. Here's Derwin Webb. And a foul on Hines, number 31. That's four on Samuel Hines. Oh, I tell you what, Ronnie Errol didn't like this at all. The back door to Webb. Hines came in. 
Gets the block, but gets the foul. Different angle. Probably we will see it better from here. Ooh, that looked pretty clean. Ronnie Arrow I might have had something there to uh, complain about. Derwin Webb goes to the line. He's missed two there. Six points all in the first half. Portillo comes back in. The big 6'9 junior. Well, that kept him out of it pretty much, David. He's one out of four. He has two points, has three rebounds, but he's not been that force inside that many expected him to be. Derwin Webb. Two for two at a crucial time. 157 on the clock. Louisville edges ahead. 81-79. They have the crowd behind him. Here come the Jaguars of South Alabama. The clock runs at 141. They try to get a Portillo, but Troy Smith comes up with a steal. What a pass by Webb to hold it. He rifled it across court. We said it before, Derwin Webb, if you want the instant offense, add water and stir, put him in the game. An outstanding pass by Smith, Smith with 13 points. And I tell you what, I think the fact that Troy Smith was just able to play tonight, David, provided a real emotional lift, because I don't think anybody really expected him to play. And I think with Troy Smith in that lineup, that's provided that spark maybe before the game was even tipped off tonight, and I think that's carried over to this point. There's the clock, bottom right part of the screen. That's the time left in the game. Portillo inside, and... Louisville has it, but it goes back to the Jaguars. Cesar Portillo. Portillo is determined to get a basket, but he can't get it to fall. Well, three or four shots. They say it's a South Alabama ball. Hey, Ronnie Arrow, you seem begging for a foul. He says, please, big guy, there had to be a foul in there somewhere. You can read his lips. But pretty good play in there. And I mean, they've been letting him play pretty tough inside. He was screaming for a foul, though. Jaguars are trailing by four. This is a three-point attempt. Kevin McDaniels, an opportunistic rebound, lays it back up and in. Big basket by McDaniels. And we got a timeout with 50 seconds left. Louisville 80. But watch the offensive rebound. This is the 16th offensive rebound. And the follow-up here, and in terms of second chance points, David, that's been a big factor in the game. Kevin McDaniels with 16 points. Louisville under the pressure of South Alabama's defense. Clock moves inside, 45 seconds. Well, you Cardinals. Gotta take care of the ball. Cardinals lead by two. You're right, they can't turn this over now. Everett Sullivan. South Alabama, not yet to foul. Shot clock's way up at 22 seconds. And they keep working it around with a two-point lead. It's down to 20 seconds on the game clock. Foul. Yelding. Cedric Yelding, a sophomore out of Fairdale, Alabama, commits the foul. His second. Oh, 85-81. Louisville by four with 20 seconds on the clock. And there is a timeout by South Alabama's Ronnie Arrow. No, they're going to put it in play. Four-point lead for the Cardinals. South Alabama will probably look for three, but they're going to have to have two scores. Let it roll so the clock didn't start till they got it to midcourt. Daniels tried to get it for Tillio. Bouncing around, out of bounds, South Alabama. The Louisville's in the driver's seat with 12 seconds to go here. You see, they're trying to force it inside. They need to have two scores. Back to play. McDaniels misses it. Eccles misses. Derwin Webb misses. Hines, or rather Eccles again, put it in good. Timeout, one second left. 85-83. Marvin, I have to get that ball in bounds. Please don't foul. I heard the fleas in there, too. That was pretty nice, wasn't it? That was very politely uh, ordered. Double team on Smith. Going to need some help. That's it. High and no foul. And the clock runs out. 
and the Jaguars of South Alabama fall to the University of Louisville 85 to 83. So the Cardinals indeed now have a modest two game winning streak and they come into a couple of games that are going to be rather tough next week. Southern Mississippi and UNLV.